Hi, I'm Paul Begley. You know, we sold our soul and now we want it back. And that's, that's what's wrong with America. We sold our soul to China and now we want it back. Well, I'm sorry. You cut it, you make a deal with the devil and you got to deal with the details. And that's what exactly what's happened to America. Filthy, rotten politicians from both sides of the aisle systematically over the last 25 years have sold the soul of the working man of America. They have left us laying in the gutter. Truth lies in the street as the unemployment numbers continue, grow, and expand. Why? The manufacturing base of this country is not here. It's setting in places like Korea and in China and Vietnam and Mexico and in different places around the globe. America sold out. Filthy, dirty, rotten to the core politicians who have left America destitute and naked and now they want their soul back. They want their soul back. Let me read an article here quickly. This is from um, Reuters. Mm, mm, mm. Can I can I can I be upset or is this or is this illegal? I think this is my channel. Last time I checked, uh, I think I can be mad, and I think you can be mad with me. It's all right. All right. Communist allies, North Korea and China, proclaim their unity Thursday, today, uh, as the North leaders Kim Jong Il held his first meeting with senior Chinese envoys since the region's worst, worst crisis in years erupted. You see, China's most senior foreign policymakers visited Pyongyang as pressure intensified on Beijing to rein in its neighbor. And after North Korea's deadly shelling of South Korean island inflamed tensions on the Korean peninsula. The top U.S. military officer, Admiral Mike Mullen, that's right, he's the Joint Chief of Staff. He accused China of aiding and abetting the hardline Kim Jong-il's regime. He called it reckless behavior. And he's right. It is totally reckless. But it's, but what did you think? They don't care about what we think. We sold our soul. And now we want it back. Now, here's what it says. In the article, Pyongyang and Beijing allies during the Korean War stand firmly together. The two sides have reached a consensus on bilateral relations and the situation on the Korean Peninsula. After the candid and in-depth talks, said a brief report from China's news agency, and that Pyongyang and Beijing have come together to work as one. Are you shocked? It's called communism. So where's Russia? In the back room smoking a cigar with Fidel Castro. Cuban cigars only. Oh, is that Hugo Chavez wanting in? Do you understand? Oh, and down the street, here come the radical Islamic Muslim jihadists who say if we gotta get a friend Let's find, it can't be America, it can't be democracy, it can't be NATO, because we hate Israel. That's exactly what the, the radical Muslims are saying. They hate Israel, and they hate anyone who stands with Israel, because they hate Christians and Jews. But communism says it's not about religion, but they'll team up with the radical jihad. They're kissing cousins to radical jihad. One does it with religion, the other does it with brute force and military power and might. But both are kissing cousins. Hatred of the West, hatred of freedom, hatred of religion, hatred of faith. I mean, they got this, this got this guy with this, just won the Nobel Peace Prize, and China won't let the guy accept the award. Why? He got it because of the, the human rights violations that go on every day in China. Remember, do you remember the 2008 Olympics? Beijing. NBC set up shop and hung out there 21 days. And, oh, the city's beautiful. Oh, they've done a wonderful job. The opening ceremony was the best we've ever seen. Yet the real reporting should have been, they should have crawled just down the street. They could, they could have went 10 blocks from, 
where the Olympics were being held, and they'd have found that slums, sewage, de devastation, despair, the leftovers of Lucifer laying in the humanity that was being is being uh, completely, completely overlooked by red communist China. Can I finish the article? The two sides have reached a consensus, North Korea and China, on bi bilateral relations and the situation there that's going on in the Korean Peninsula. After candid in-depth talks, China and North Korea are as one. Well, this marks the first time that Kim Jong-il's senior foreign officials since the North's shocking artillery attack on South Korea have sat down and talked about and even discussed sophisticated nuclear programs. And you know what? I'm, I'm just I'm to the point where I'm just I, I I it's hypocrisy. And here's the deal. We know what China is. We know where they stand. If you know anything about Marxism, if you know anything about uh, communism, if you know anything about oppression of freedom, you know that what lurks in the in the hearts and the soul, the very inner core of the communist regime leaders in China is to squash freedom. And the way they're doing it with the Americans is loan, 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 and then call the note. Loan, 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 then call the note. And what does America do? Like lambs led to the slaughter. We just give them anything we want because of filthy, rotten politicians. And that's why everyone's upset about WikiLeaks. Because, my God, it's much filth and trash and whoring around in the political sense and the biblical sense that goes on in Washington. What in the world has Julian Assange got his hands on? What deep, dark secrets are really lurking there? Well, I'm Paul Begley. If you was to study the Bible... You know, I'm going, to give a, I'm going to do a video soon on the two witnesses that are going to be slain in the streets of Jerusalem and the world will watch them. I want to talk to you why the Bible actually prophesied of the new technologies that we have today. We're nearing the mark of the beast. We're nearing the end when the Bible said in Matthew 24, he said that nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes, pestilence. Uh, there will be in divers places. There will be disease. There will be famine. There will be hatred because the love of many would wax cold. Uh, iniquity would abound. Men would sell their souls for a morsel of bread. We're to the point right now in this world where we're nearing the second coming of the Lord. This is not a shock, people, that China and North Korea are as one. It's not a shock. You know what's shocking? is to wake up one morning in this great country of America and know that your soul was sold. I'm Paul Begley. Jesus is the only way. He still is the only answer.